Hey everyone, it's Alyssa and today I am standing with Ranger Mara, our park naturalist. And we are gonna go over all things spring. We're super, super excited that the spring equinox is this weekend. Um, and we have spring like temps last weekend. And well, right now it kind of feels like spring up here at Franklin Cliffs, which is really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, despite some of the cold that we're um, experiencing this week, it is spring this weekend, so we're going to be talking about the celebration of wildflowers and some upcoming opening dates and just other things to expect on your visit in Shenandoah. Uh, we did have daylight savings last weekend, so we got to spring forward with our clocks and that means more after work hikes um, are possible, which is really nice, especially if you want to come up here and see some of the, the overlooks and some of the summits, just make sure that you bring a flashlight because the sunset does happen at 7.30. So even though you have time, you just wanna be prepared for when you go on your hike. So Mara, I'm so happy that you're here today. We have a lot to talk about, mm -hmm. but I did hear that spring is your favorite season. <laughs> so can you tell us why? Spring is so great because so many new things are, are coming out, uh, especially wildflowers, and we'll talk about those in, in just a moment. But trees are budding out as well. Um, animals are starting to, to come out. Birds are starting to have their little ones. Migrating birds are just starting to come back. So it's a great renewal time, and that's one, one of the reasons it's my favorite. So everything is new and budding, and I'm just so excited that the warmer temps are back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So. For years, Shenandoah has hosted a wildflower weekend. And unfortunately, we had to cancel that this last year. But this year, we decided that we're going to celebrate wildflowers for an extended period of time. And that means that we're going to use our virtual capturing skills to kind of monitor the wildflowers as they butt up through uh, May. And I guess, do they go beyond that? Sure. They yep. keep blooming. So <laughs> we're going to be capturing those. We're going to go on a bunch of different hikes and walks with Ranger Mara and some of her experts that have been with us in the past. So can you go ahead and talk to us a little bit about what that might look like this year? Yeah, a virtual wildflower uh, program is, is a little bit different because we'll, you'll be able to tune in uh, on your screens and, and follow us along. And you'll also be able to come afterwards and see what we've been talking about. And we're going to focus on those spring native woodland wildflowers that we call our spring ephemerals. Oh wow, why are they called the spring ephemerals? That's a, it's a big word. For, <laughs> um, it's a kind of a, a plant that comes up for a short time, blooms, goes, well, gets pollinated and goes to seed, and then you don't see the flowers anymore until the next spring. So that ephemeral means that they, they go away and then they come back later, but not for another year. So the spring flowers that you're seeing this year are only going to be able to be seen in the springtime, and then you have to wait a whole nother year before you see them again. We hope to take you along with us on, on a few wildflower outings. They won't be long hikes, but just to show you what wildflowers are blooming um, coming up pretty soon. And we're going to be focusing on those ephemerals. Mm -hmm. And why don't we see them here right now? Because we're so high up in elevation and it's colder up here. So the first wildflowers that you're going to be seeing or that we're going to be showing you are going to be the ones that start to bloom at the lowest elevation. So mm -hmm. way down there in the valley, you may have already seen some flowers blooming, your daffodils or crocuses, things like that blooming. Um, they're not native, but they're still, they're encouraged by those warm temperatures we had last week yeah. and the rains and things like that. So the same thing's happen happening with our native woodland wildflowers, but they're way down there. <laughs> so you're not going to want to look for them yet up here in the highest elevations where it could be, um, you know, 2,700 feet difference um, in elevation. We're at about 3,500 feet here at Franklin Cliffs and the valley is about 800 to 1,000 feet elevation. So it's a big difference there in um, temperature. And that's an important thing, but the tree cover is another important thing. Okay. Nice. The spring green up is when the leaves start to open up on the trees and the, the eastern deciduous forest that we're in, you notice there's not many leaves on these trees. The, the buds are there and they're just waiting for the right temperatures and the right time to open up. So the first trees that are going to open up those leaf buds are going to be where it's warmest 
and that's going to be down below. So the first green that you're going to see is going to be down in the valley, and then that's going to work its way up the mountain gradually until usually by the end of May, the last of the trees will have been fully leafed out. Those little buds will open completely. And that's usually our oak trees that are right up here. But until that time, they're gradually uh, opening up. So why are we talking about trees if we want to know about wildflowers? Well, those same wildflowers are blooming because it's warmer down below and they are in the woods. So once those trees fully open up their leaves, they're going to shade out the wildflowers that are down there. And so the wildflowers are blooming now at the very lowest elevation, just starting, just getting started, while they can still get sunlight. And as those trees leaves um, continue to open up, they will shade out those flowers. So the wildflowers will be moving up the mountain in progression ahead of the leaves. So if you want to know where the wildflowers are, look at the spring green up and see how far up the mountain the trees are greening up. And just a little bit uh, ahead of that is where the wildflowers will be. You can keep up with our virtual walks on Facebook and YouTube. If you just subscribe to our YouTube page and follow us on Facebook, you'll get to see all of those videos, hopefully um, one being released every week or every other week just kind of when we find them. So we get to take you where the wildflowers are, which is super, super exciting. So, it is. Yeah. Uh, we also have a couple of workshops that we've been working on. So there's one with Betty Gatewood. Mm -hmm. And so she's going to be showing us how to sketch and kind of capture wildflowers using, you know, sketches or paint or photography even, which is really exciting. And that will be released very soon, probably in the next week. So you guys will get to see that. Another way that we know that spring is on the way is because the visitor center is open today. So the visitor center at Big Meadows and Dickey Ridge Visitor Center are opened and you can find our hours online for those. They will have outdoor contact stations with ranger staff there so that you can get some information and make sure you wear your masks. We'll be wearing ours. The park stores will also be open and you can find those hours online. And even though we don't have any films or exhibits open, you can still get enough information from our rangers that you'll feel pretty confident when you walk away and go on your way in Shenandoah. We also have a few other facilities opening in the coming weeks. So next week we have Lewis Mountain Campground and Big Meadows Campground that will be opening. And we also have Skyland opening as well as their dining facility. So there's so much to look forward to and you can start planning those trips any day now. <laughs> We're just uh, excited to uh, see the visitors again. So um, welcome back to the park. Um, please be safe and be considerate of your, your fellow hikers and, and visitors as you, as you um, enjoy Shenandoah. Yep, looking forward to seeing you all here soon. Bye.